Hey everybody, Sam back once again and it's now time for another application review. A lot of people saw this one on my uh, What's On My Android device. If you haven't seen that video, I will put like a little annotation up here and you can go view that one. But anyway, this one is called SMS Backup, which is a little bad boy here. And it's pretty much what it says it is. It's where you backed up your SMS. So what I'm going to do for you today is I'm just going to actually show you what I've done previously and how you can back up and you can restore, etc. So as a quick example, when you first turn on this wall tick won't be there, so I'll untick it for now. Click OK. So at the moment I'm not actually logged into any account. If I want to connect, then first thing you do is you'll click the little connect. It'll connect to Google, it'll say, you sure you want to do it? I'll go, yeah, I'm sure I want to do it. It then goes to your Google account and all you want to do is you click grant access. Once you've granted it access, you're then good to go. It'll then generally ask you if you want to back up your, your, your contacts or your actual messages straight away, which you can do as you see a backup or skip all the messages. So I'll skip it for now because I've already got them all backed up. But basically what you do is you click back up and then what it does is that all the text messages on your device, it backs them up to your Gmail account. So if you then get another device in the future off your phone breaks, all you do is the exact same thing. But instead of obviously just backing up, you click restore. And then when you click restore, what it does is it logs back into that Google account and it restores all those text messages back to your phone. Now, recently me moving from a Galaxy Nexus, from HTC One X, round from one to the other, I want to keep my text messages at all times. All I do is have this on each of the devices, and I back up and restore as to whenever, whenever, whatever I swap my SIM card in and out for. And this keeps them all up to date, and every phone's got the exact same text message, no matter where I am. You can then click Auto Backup. So basically, what I will do, you can schedule it for Auto Backing Up. So I can do it every hour, every two hours. So on here, you can obviously do your regular scheduling. And you can have it as obviously 30 minutes, an hour, two hours, six hours, 24 hours, or never. So I currently, I don't do automatic backups right now. You can then do your incoming schedule. So obviously for, you know, when you're backing them up, so you can actually uh, back up your incoming SMSs after the arrival. Uh, you can require Wi-Fi or do it of your 3G. I normally just click click Wi-Fi just because I like doing it on Wi-Fi, it's quicker. And you can allow other, I love it, um, allow other apps to trigger the backups via the broadcast um, the broadcasting intents. Um, I don't know what that does specifically in all honesty. Um, I've never used it. I just click, keep it unticked. You can then go into your advanced settings. You can click your backup settings. So in your backup, you can back your SMS, your MMS, your call log. You can click then obviously your call log settings and say what you want to do specifically. And then obviously you can go to how many do you want to back up. I've got more, so it backs up all messages at all times. Mark it as read in your emails. If you've not ticked this, you'll notice that if you've got, let's say, 500 uploads into your Gmail, you'll have 500 unread emails. Because what it does, it creates a folder on your Gmail called SMS, as you can see here. And then in there, all your messages get saved to there. It's a very clever way, way it does it. And then if you can back up your contacts, oops, contacts to back up, so obviously you can click which ones you want, etc. Email address style. Sometimes you can have it by your name, oops, by your name, the number, or just the number, I have it just by the name. Uh, and then you can email subject prefix, and that's obviously using IMAP. Uh, again, I don't use that, so it, I kind of ignore it. Crash error reporting, you know, that's basically so, obviously if there's any kind of crashing, etc., you can you know, kind of save it and send it to them if there's any kind of bugs with the actual software itself. You then got sync log disabled, I have it disabled personally. Notifications, so you can have a background notification saying, right, either uploaded, if you've got your automatic restore or automatic backup, then obviously what you can do, you can go, right, oh, it's done. You get like a little notification telling you it's done. And obviously your IMAP service ends. You don't need to go into that if you've got, you know, if it works. If you do, then obviously you can change them all in there and change the authentication, etc. But it's not something you're normally going to have to do. So that's basically it today, people. Um, why would you want this application? Well, if you're one of them people that wants to make sure that you never lose your SMSs, you know, some people don't use SMS anymore. They use um, like you know Google Talk, um, or they may use uh, Google, is it Google Voice, sorry, uh, Google Talk. Um, they may use WhatsApp, Kick Messenger, etc. There's plenty of them out there. I personally still use a lot of text messages as well as well as WhatsApp and those kind of ones. So I like to back them up anywhere I go. It's a free application, which is the best thing ever. And why not? You know, always keep your up. To, you know, your backups up to date. If you like me, and you go from device to device from time to time, it's a godsend, and it makes it so much easier. 
Anyway, people, that's it for today. If you liked this video, don't forget to leave me a like, um, subscribe, favorite, all that kind of good stuff. You know, it does. I do appreciate it. If you like these kind of videos, then please leave me a comment down below. Tell me if you want more of these kind of videos, and I'll be sure to do more kind of hints and tips. You know, of my favorite Android applications, or the ones that intrigue me. You know, but let me know down below. Uh, I need your guys' feedback. You know, if you like it, then you know, let me know. Anyway, people, I appreciate watching. Don't forget, you know, to hit me up on Twitter at SamJPullum. And I'll see you in my next video. Cheers, everyone.